Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Criminal Minds. So, we just finished going through the apartment or house. Could be apartment or house. Um, definitely looks like a house where I'm from. <laughs> um, and so, we found out about the art note on the square party where she left her purse. And we're about to go to the police station in order to... Uh, interrogate the landlord which we found inside the home and here is a little sign for art on the square so. zoom zoom we're just gonna leave Derek there <laughs> okay there's Hotch we set up a connection to Garcia at Quantico on the computer in the maintenance room there talk to her if you need to run any information I'm afraid that our presence is going to inspire the unsub to strike again. Keep a low profile. Okay, there's some security cameras. A puzzle. It's from Gary's fingerprints. Who's Gary? I don't have his fingerprints. Or. Hmm? Compare the images in all the rows and select the one that is different from all the others. Okay. So did I just did I did I get I did get the right one just by accident. Okay. I'm so glad now there are machines to do this. Cause I know before it was automated. You had to go one by one. You actually have to get really close to the screen to see this. Okay. So I don't know why they had a um <clears throat> I don't know why they have a case sealed with someone's fingerprints, unless that's like a uh, special case where you can only open with your fingerprints, but we have stuff. Tape. We have printer ink. Okay, washing tape and ink cartridge. Task. Um, find the caution tape for the groundskeeper. Okay. Austin Ledger, Art Academy student found dead. Ah, power cord. Poor Kate is all over the newspapers. Okay, interrogation room. Let's go there because I need to interrogate the guy. Hello. Okay. I'm Agent Rossi, FBI. Are you Mr. Rowe? Yeah, that's me. I didn't have anything to do with the murder. The cops had me empty my pockets for them and I'm clean. Am I free to go? Not so fast. We're not done. We're not done. Mr. Rowe, how exactly did you come to find Kate Miller's body? Did you have her permission to enter the apartment? Well, no, but I'm the landlord. Why do I get the impression you're hiding something? I guess we just keep talking to him. Background check at the police station. We leave. Okay, so I think we need to find background check. We need to contact Garcia. So I'd be in here. Maintenance room. Is this this the maintenance? Yes, it is. Okay. 
Let's see. This whole section, I think, is... There's no power, but we need this computer to check in with Garcia back at Quantico. We have a power cord! There we go! Garcia! Okay. Morning, guys! I'm still here in Quantico. Sorry I couldn't join you there in Austin. No problem. I can still help out, though. If you can give me an ID of any suspects, I can check up on them. The ID... Ready to analyze? Just bring me the goods. Let's see... We need to cut this tape before we can get into the evidence box. Really, I need scissors? <laughs> Go through the evidence box... Does anyone have any scissors on them? Get an object scene at the front desk. Wow, this is a messy front desk! Okay. It's almost really hard to see items that are up in the corner. We found a pocket knife. That'll open a box. Okay. Does this guy already have a file on him? Oh boy. This is like a kid's toy box. Minus the cigarettes and the prescription bottle. <laughs> What am I looking for? Best against the Evan by pairing like objects. So pill box goes with pills. Cigarettes go with a lighter. Let's see. No. Key goes with the Ah, oh, key goes with the key fob! But the battery goes with the flashlight for some reason. Well, I know the reason is because batteries goes and go in flashlights, but I would think a, you know, the keys would go with the key fob. Goes with the cap. Oh, I had to remove the um lighter because it was in the way of the key fob. Okay. Dollar goes with money. Bottle cap goes with the bottle. Screw goes with the nut. Film goes with the camera. Glasses go with the case. And pen goes with the notebook. There's his ID. But first we have to remove that and the golf ball. There's his ID at the bottom of the evidence box. Oh, Gary is the name of the landlord. Okay. An ID. Got you now, Gary. Okay, here's his ID. Checking... Oh, you'll love this. Your landlord, Gary Rowe, that's an alias. His real name is Gary Brewer, and he served time in two different states for burglary and petty larceny. Can you fax the information to me? Way ahead of you. Unfortunately, there seems to be some kind of trouble with the fax machine on your end. Okay. Are you out of printer ink? Yep. There we go. That should do it. Let's go. This should be what we need to interrogate Gary. Okay. Now we can interrogate him. Okay. This is really fun. Probably because it's much easier than an actual. <laughs> Police interrogation? An actual F FBI case? Okay. Can we check your record? Your real record, Gary Brewer. Are you playing games with us? Well, let's see who wins. Oh, you're playing Mahjong with him now? Lying to, an FB to the FBI is a federal crime. Look, this is just a misunderstanding. Okay, I'll probably lose this because I'm horrible at my job.
If this is anything like the show, Gary won't be the unsub. Because usually the first person they grab is not the person they're looking for. Why the new name, Brewer? What are you hiding? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Do you know that every time you lock, your right eye twitches? Look, I didn't kill her, I swear! No, why did we find you in her apartment then? I... Uh... I'm innocent! Innocence is relative. Your record says you're a thief. It wouldn't be hard to get a maximum sentence for you. Okay, okay, I took her necklace. She owed me three months back rent, but I swear I didn't kill her! Tell us where you hit the necklace, dirtbag. I'll tell you, I'll tell you! This place let me go. Okay. Gary changed his last name because he had a record. The record was for petty theft. He stole Kate's necklace to recoup the rent she owed. I stash her necklace under a sign near the apartment. And I go... You disgust me. That is pretty lousy. Can you say more? Wouldn't that be tampering with evidence if that's the case? The more task. Groundskeeper. Take the necklace under sign to reconstruction. Okay. Okay, back here. Necklace under the sign. Oh, there's some scissors. Go. Would it be too much to ask you to lend me some caution tape? Stopping all these people from coming in and out of the community center while we clean is a real hassle. Okay. Thanks. Now I don't have to stand here while we finish up cleaning. No problem. Maybe we'll see you after we finish up the crime scene. Under the sun. Got it. There we go. Here's Kate's necklace. As the landlord was telling the truth about this, at least. Okay, I think this is the last missing thing. Yep. Most serial killers who take mementos keep small items from the victim. Like this necklace. However, our unsub took a lock of her hair. Maybe this unsub felt the need to take something more personal than jewelry. We know the crime wasn't a robbery or sexually motivated. And we know the attacker wasn't a stranger to this young painter. Why did the unsub take something as intimate as hair? Let's have a medical examiner take her to the morgue. It's a pretty long time to have a body out. One more task. Find the art on the square party. Okay. Huh. <coughs> there we go. Wow, this place is a mess. Some party. 
What do you want me to investigate? Did I hear that there was some of art event that took place nearby? Is there some kind of investigation going on here? Yep. Okay. It's broken. We'll have to fix the light before we enter the code. Turn on all the green lights. Open one of the LED lights. Needs a new bulb. This place is a mess. Looks like there was some kind of party here. Okay. It looks like a purse, but it's too high to reach. Okay. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, so we gave him the flyer so he can investigate the party. Let's see here. Huh. And now we are playing as Shamar Moore's character, Derek Morgan. Okay. Umbrella. Oh, I missed the taxi pad. That scarf belongs to Kate. What's in that gutter? Should be hers too. I can reach her and move the great grate with a screwdriver. Nice day. Do you paint here often? Every day. Sometimes I paint the scenery, but my specialty is the hotties in the park. This is prime real estate for the feminine form. You know what I mean? Okay. There's the horseshoe. Okay. Found a crowbar! Can you use that to open the grate? No. I'm gonna have to actually use a screwdriver. Okay, let's go further into the park. Austin Academy of Art. Hello? Sorry, I'm a mess. I'm just too upset to talk right now. Okay. Grief Support Group for those coping with the tragic death of fellow student Kate Miller. Friday, 4 p.m. Main Hall. Poor kids. I'm sure they all knew Kate. But look at this mark over her name. I wonder how that happened. Huh. Can't open the door without a student ID card. Okay, so retrieve Kate's purse, find this, use a screwdriver, console the student, find an ID for the school. Back of the van, it's locked. Can we use a crowbar? No. Okay. That would be pretty suspicious. Okay. Maybe we can use the paper clip. No. Okay. Again. Suspicious. Art on the square. That was a big part of last night. They were at the community center. A female student was found murdered last night. It's possible the killer followed her home from the party. What? Oh goodness. I don't know anything about a murder. I've just been cleaning up the mess from the party. I probably could have 
been done by now if my card over there wasn't jammed shut. We have to do a bunch of fetch quests. <laughs> they just don't have to do all this in the show. <laughs> so the student, find something to open the cart. Okay, it's locked. I bet I could pry it open with the right tool. Like a crowbar! There we go. Back again. Yeah, your cart is open. Oh wait, we have to find stuff. Okay. <laughs> Pretzel in the cart. Joystick. It's like an Atari joystick. Well, not exactly Atari, but it's the same style. Now we just need a coin. There's the coin. Looked like a hole in the tape. Van keys! Okay. So you use that to unlock the van where the crying student is. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!